Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dennis Alster and this is Getting In The Game. And today I'm doing something a little off sequence. I found out that the landing gear bracket that holds it on um, didn't line up quite right. So uh, once I mocked it up and uh, was working really hard to figure out exactly what it needed, um, I got it just the way I wanted it. So this video will be dedicated just to that. If you wanna see that, stick around. Boy, this sure was a head scratcher. I had to make a decision of whether or not I was gonna call Zenith and, and tell them what was going on. And they would have been good enough to send me back a, a new bracket. But I'd already done a little bit of work to this one and I'd made it match up with a shem to the uh, strut support. I thought, well, the only thing that is, the bad, the bad part that could happen is I could ruin the part. What's well, gonna change anything with the airplane holes? Those are where they're gonna be. They're in aluminum. They were the right size already. So I didn't, I couldn't finagle them at all. So the decision I had to make was, I didn't even wanna know how much these cost individually. That one was much closer. But I did make the decision to just try my idea. I did, I finally made the decision because you know I'm anxious to keep going just like anybody else. If I really need to wait, I will. But this I thought I could pull off. And uh, I'm not saying it's the best thing to do or the way to do it, but it worked for me. Um, I was very careful to keep going back and forth, back and forth with just grinding or drilling just a, when I started the hole because uh, I didn't get to film that and I really didn't show much on the one that I did film. So I'll try to explain it. Um, when the point of the drill comes down and gets really close to the hole that's pre-drilled there, I think it was an eighth inch, um, and we're going up to about a quarter, you just barely touch the drill to the part once you, and then see where you're, where it's, where it's bending off to, because it will move to the side a little, and then maybe increase how much pressure is in the bend. I know I don't sound cool, but it works. Um, it, it, you can't go drastically crazy, but as soon as you get that bend just right, when it hits down and it keeps the tension to the side of the drill that where you want the hole to go, um, it works. I just watched it and it finally took out that radius that I drew with the uh, marker and uh, finally got the holes to fit. The only other thing that made me make that decision is that the hole that was pre-drilled in there wasn't out past the hole that I was trying to drill. So that gives you a good idea. I was definitely going to be taking off a, a metal out of past the, the, the original lineup hole. I'll show you, I've got one done, and then I'll show you how I did it. The other side seems to be a little bit better, but I had to go ahead and uh, enlarge the holes in the landing gear bracket so that I could uh, get this prepped and primed. Well, you know, it clecoed in really nice. Um, they have two pilot holes here, which I'll show you on the other one in a second. And they clecoed in nice. And then I created a, I put a wedge. Because the side isn't on, I put a wedge in here and clamped that in. And uh, the holes down here that are pre-drilled in the steel were off quite a bit. I'll show you on this side. Once I clamped that in, there was just no way that I could drill. Let's see if this shows it. This one isn't 100% clamped in yet. Let me get a flashlight. That if I was to put a drill in the hole here to match drill it, that's steel back there, and it would elongate this big piece of steel that's already upsized to the proper size hole for the bolt sleeve. And, uh, so I have to put these on completely, uh, as completely as I can, um, and mark it with a marker, and then set the drill offset and go really slow because uh, it wants to follow that pilot hole, of course. As you can see, the other side come out really good. Um, it took me a long time and some oil and just let it be off setter but they're in there now. It's got a, it's got a, uh, a doubler back here also. 
So let's take this little wedge out. And I've got, if you can see in the body over here, this is the piece that, this is the piece, here, let me come back. If you can see back here, this piece and this piece is gonna go in the side. So I've got to mock up that angle and this. So it's clecoed in, but as far as it being pulled in far enough to this and level with this side where it will be, that I'm gonna do right now. So this is the same thickness as the side, and this is really close to the thickness of the angle. can clamp that in place. This is all clecoed in place, this bracket, and it's really thick. So there's not much rotation or curving there. And now that I've got these two in and this supported with that extra piece of metal in there, I can mark those holes now. Oh, backwards you can see even better. Let's, I'll show you those. These were really nice, which I think are going to be A6s. I'm going to re-look at that, but uh, yeah, this is holding it where it's supposed to be, and this is holding it where it's supposed to be. And I, if I just drill those out, there. Yeah, that's pretty good. You So now I, you can see how far they're off. And if I was to drill those out, I would have to elongate the aluminum. I don't want to do that. Well, since I have the drill press, and the the drill wants to fo follow that, but if I go super slow, I can I can get it to work. If it works for me, and you've got the same problem, hopefully it will help. And the other side, of course, while I was uh, getting my techniques down with that, I took it out and off at least a dozen times. This one hopefully I won't have to do that. Pretty confident with what's going on right now. And let's see if you can see this. Hopefully you can see that. That's got to be uh, out, elongated outward slightly. And that back one upward slightly. stuff but uh, so I've got these two done and I and, and they fit good this cleat goes in this cleat goes in I got my bushing for the side in with that piece on there and some tape to make it a little bit wider got this one in and tight and now I've got to mark this one but first let's uh, clamp clamp this up now the only thing I'm changing is the gear I'm not changing the airplane so the worst thing that could happen is I'd have to, if something I didn't foresee, I'd have to get these new steels. But the holes aren't being changed in the 
that are pre-drilled in here and up to size. I just now got to see where that one lies and mark it and see how much off their pilot hole was. Well, it isn't as bad as the other side. That's good. But I still got to do offset her a little. Well, practice makes perfect. This side came out a lot better. Wasn't uh, wrestling with it as much. So we got the four holes in there. Got a slight gap down there for the side to go in and the angle iron. And then this will rotate up slightly. I'll get that clamped back in and go ahead and drill for my A6s in here that um, when I go to uh, put these in, drill these holes, that uh, it'll uh, compress up and do just what it's supposed to do. All right, well, I'm gonna double check uh, if them are A6s or not. Well, on page 750FC-03, I could find a one pitcher with this saying 15, so line 15 are A6s, rivets, and there's 10. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So I imagine that is correct. Also, I seen on the paper here under 16, there's A6s, 12 of them. So these are gonna be A6s also. I'm gonna double check and see if those need to be drilled up sized. Yeah, I think they're A5 sizes. So those are gonna to have to be up drilled. than I thought it was going to after wrestling with that side. Uh, uh, the only way I think you could do that is to have a drill press because when you want to start it with the tip on the edge of the pre-drilled hole, it has to grind that away really slow or it'll bend over and follow it. At first, don't put any oil on it because you, you got to be able to see it good. And just get that started really good so that uh, I wish I could show you just so it starts to carve that edge. And uh, once it carves the edge, you get past the V, then it, then it, you just let it, uh, then you can put some oil in it, and away you go. Okay, I know how I did mine, right? I, I, I've explained that good, but there might be a better way. If, there, if you've done this and you've got a better way, um, please leave it in the remarks down below so that uh, the guys watching this, if they happen to look at the comments, they'll see what you did. Okay, let's upsize this side. More fun stuff. Well, before I upsize, I'm gonna get this one reinstalled. three done. Time to do the pre-drilled ones. There, I think that looks good. Now the main reason I did this, seemingly out of sequence, if I would have put this up there and all my pre-drilled uh, holes would have lined up nicely, um, I probably wouldn't have thought much of it and uh, just kept building. But since they were off so far, I decided to mock it up with that shim in there and clamp it down. And uh, rip, uh, once I put these two uh, Clicos in, that drew it right to where I needed it for as far as in and out goes from my calculations because the, the bolt holes down here in the front and back, if I would have drilled them out right where they were, that would have drew this up way too far it would barely get there without anything in, let alone putting uh, spacers in here with the fuselage side. And if you can imagine, 
this side being on here and trying to reach in and, and mark everything and be able to see uh, to, to make sure that my marks are on those holes so I knew where to offset them would, would have been a nightmare. So I was kind of forced into putting these on now because the channel is where the channel is going to be. I just had to figure out the depth um, for sure. And I think we did that successfully. I like the shim I made. That side went a lot smoother, of course. Um, like I said, this side took a lot of finagling to get them uh, in. But I'm very happy with how it turned out. Well, I'm tickled pink with that. Um, that was really rewarding to get that to the point where this is that side, of course, the left side, so it looks good. I'm really happy with how it's gonna mold up now. So we can move on, get that out of my head. I can move on to some of the other stuff. I hope you don't have this issue with yours, but if you do, this little technique will work. If you're brave enough to buy another one, if you have to, you go ahead and try it. But uh, yeah, this technique will work if you just really take your time and go back and forth. So hey, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you in the next one.